that you are welcome back i welcome you back to this channel now here is my foundational chain for this pattern so right now i'm going to start off i'm going to chain extra two one two so i yarn over my hook so i'm going to insert into the fourth loop fourth loop one two three four With double crochet so I proceed double crochet double crochet So I proceed double project So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right now I'm going to chain to one, two. So I'm going to insert into the third loop. I will skip to one, two. So I insert in the third loop here at the base with double crochet. I chain another two one two i skip two one two i insert in the third loop double crochet so right now i proceed double crochet So I proceed like so. In this place, I'm going to make 13 double crochet. So already I have six. So I proceed till I get to the 13th loop. Seven. Eight. Thirteen. So I'm going to count again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So right now I proceed. I chain two, one, two. I insert into the third loop. Double crochet. I chain another two, one, two. I insert into the third loop. One, two, three. Double crochet. So this is how I'm going to proceed till I round up this row. So as you can see, I've completed the round. Can you see? So right now I'm going to proceed. I'm going to chain three. One, 
two, three. So I yarn over, I insert into the second loop here with double crochet. Next, double crochet. Double crochet. So right now, I'm going to skip this last, these two last loop. So right now, I'm going to chain two, one, two. So I yarn over. I'm going to insert into the mid loop here. This one, this center loop. Double crochet. So in this center loop, I'm going to make five double crochet. Three. Four. Five. Can you see? So right now I'm going to chain another two, one, two. So I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip this the first two chain, two loops here. One, two. So I move into the third loop with double crochet. So right now, I will also skip these last two loops, these two last loops. So I chain two, one, two, I yarn over, I insert into this loop here, you see, still with double crochet. So here too, I will be making five double crochet. Two. Three, four, and five. So this is how I'm going to proceed till I round it up on this row. Now, as you can see, I've completed the round. Can you see? So right now, I'm going to proceed. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. So I yarn it over, I insert into the second loop with double crochet. So I proceed, double crochet. So, as you can see, I have two loops left here. So, these two loops, I'm going to skip these last two loops also. So, I'm going to chain two. One, two. So, having chain two, I yarn over. I'm going to insert in this corner with double crochet. So, right in this corner, I will be making five double crochet. That's one. Two, 
3 4 5 so right now I proceed here also in this corner I will be making five double crochet one two two three four and five so can you see So right now, I'm going to chain two, one, two. So having chain two, I'm going to skip the first two loops here. Then I move to the third loop with double crochet. Double crochet. So, as you can see, I also have another uh, two loops left here on my left hand side. So, I'm going to skip these two also. I chain two, one, two. So, I yarn over. In this corner also, I'm going to make five double crochet. you see so exactly what i did here is what i'll be repeating here so i proceed on my left hand side five double crochet see so I chain two one two so I skip these first two loops so this is how I'm going to proceed till I round up this row you see As you can see, I've completed the round. Can you see? So right now, I'm going to proceed. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. So I insert in the second loop with double crochet. Now, I'm going to leave. Also, skip this two last loop. So I chain two, one, two. Having chain two, I'm going to insert in this first loop here. In this loop, I will be making five double crochet, two, three, four, and five. So right now, I proceed into the mid loop here. So I will also make five double crochet in this loop one, two, three, four, 
and I. So right now, I proceed into the first loop here. I will also make five double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. So I'm going to chain two. One, two. I'm going to skip the first two loops here. I move to this third loop with double crochet. So on my left hand, I chain two. One, two. So on my left hand side, too, I'm going to skip these two chains. Then I move into the first loop of this one. Exactly what I just did now. So what I'm going to repeat two three four then five so I proceed like so till I round up this row. As you can see, I've completed the round. Can you see? So right now, I'm going to proceed. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. A yarn over. I insert into the second loop right here. With double crochet I proceed in this next loop double crochet next loop double crochet so right now I'm going to chain two one two so having chain two a yarn over i'm going to insert into this loop double crochet so in this loop i will be making five double crochet two three Four and five and five and you see so right now I yarn over again I insert into this loop right here so here also I will be making five double crochets Two, three, four, and five. Can you see? So right now, I'm going to chain two one two so having chain two i'm going to insert in this first loop with double crochet so the next loop here double crochet two you see then this mid loop I insert double crochet then here is the next loop double crochet 
then the, the next one double crochet now you've discovered that here the other time I skipped two two chains on my right hand side and two chains on my left hand side those two chains is what I've replaced now with double crochet it means I'm about to round up this set so right now I'm going to chain another two one two then I proceed into this mid loop where I will be making five double crochets one two three four and five can you see so I proceed to the next loop five double crochets one two three four and five so here I'm going to chain two again one two so I'm going to continue like so this loops i'm going to fill it the first two ch chain or loops here i fill it then with this center one and this one exactly what i have here what i have here so this is how i'm going to proceed till i round up this row So as you can see, I've completed the round. If you look at the base, you discover that I started with one here, then followed by two, then three. So this three marks the half of is a triangular shape. So this mark, this row where I have three, three of these marks the half of this um, triangle. So right now to complete it, I have I mean to almost get to the completion I have two here ex the way I have it at the base can you see also two here can you see the way I have it at the base like so two here the way I have it at the base so right now then this next the next rule now is to complete it with only this one so right now I'm going to proceed I'm going to chain three one two three so i insert in the second loop right here with double crochet double crochet double crochet so i'm going to fill it these two chains or two loops so with double crochet five six now if you look at this base here i have six six loops i mean six um double crochet one two three four five six and this is where I have so right now I also have here six one two three four five six now to complete it so right now I'm going to chain two again one two so having chain two I'm going to insert in this mid loop with double crochet also in this loop I will be having five making five double crochet the way I have it at the base Three, four, then five. Can you see? So right now, I'm going to chain two. 
one two I haven't changed two I start with this I'm going to fill these loops also with double crochet two loops on my right hand side and on my left hand side so here is the second loop double crochet so I proceed Project. So, like I said, I will also fill these two loops on my left hand side with double project. you see so right now I'm going to chain two one two so I insert into the mid loop right here with double crochet so here too I will be making five double crochet two three four five can you see so i've completed this now can you see the triangular shape can you see so let me also complete this so here i change to one two so i insert double crochet crochet so can you see so this marks the complete this row now marks uh, the last the completion of this and uh, set of this pattern so this is how I'm going to proceed till I round up this row Now, as you can see, I've completed the round. Can you see? So, right now, I'm going to proceed. I'm going to chain. Now, like I said the other time, I said this row marks the end of this set of this pattern. The end of the set of this pattern. So, right now, I'm going to start another row that marks a, another beginning of the set another set of this part, particular pattern so right now i'm going to chain three one two three so i insert into the second loop with double crochet i proceed double crochet next Crochet. Double crochet. So, I'm going to chain two. One, two. I haven't chained two. I insert one, two, three. Double crochet. One, two. 
to insert insert right here double crochet sorry double crochet and move into the next loop So I proceed, double crochet, can you see, so by the time I'm done with this, then we count it's asked to give us 13 um, double crochet the way i have it at the base or at the beginning of this um, pattern so double crochet So, can you see? So, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, and this is the 13 I have at the base here. Can you see? So, this is how I'm going to proceed till I round up this group. 